frost on the trees today, a cozy home inside, and some playing in the snow outside. Today I am bringing you along in my day in the life, and this is also a collab with Colleen at Simple Joy Filled Living, and she is going to share a little bit about her and her channel. Hi, I'm Colleen. My channel is called Simple Joy-Filled Living and I share homemaking and simple living videos. We live on Hilton Head Island in South Carolina. I love to cook and I also share my weight loss and healthy living journey on Weight Watchers as well as our homeschool journey. I'd love it if you'd stop by and share in our day in the life. An early start to the morning is the best way for me to start my day off with some Bible reading, getting in some hydration, and in the winter months, I like drinking warm water and then getting our breakfast going of the typical eggs, sauteed veggies, and some homemade sourdough bread. So the mornings usually are just kind of relaxed as the girls wake up. Um, my husband and I get some time together before they wake up usually, and so I just enjoy getting myself ready, doing my devotional, making breakfast, and then the cleanup. So this is a homemaking morning for me and I like the routine of what it brings and just being able to enjoy the little moments of um, every part of the day. Letting in that sunlight and daylight by tying back my curtains in the kitchen is a thing I do every day and opening the blinds, getting in all the daylight that I can. And it was a beautiful winter day with so much frost on the trees. Well, good morning. It is about 8.30 already. We've had a beautiful morning. I got my quiet time in, Bible reading, stretches, just doing some things before the girls are up. I get up about 5.30, 5.45, and then the girls, we had a late night last night. We visited grandparents, so we didn't get home till after their normal bedtime, so they slept until about seven, which is really nice to get some of that um, quiet time with my husband as well. And then we ate our breakfast, our typical breakfast of eggs and sourdough bread. Got everything all cleaned up, got the girls rest, got myself ready. And it's just going to be a nice winter day in life because it is snowy. We just got about 17 inches of snow this past week. And so we might go outside and play, who knows. But um, I fed my sourdough starter because I need to use it tonight to make some sourdough pizza. I'm gonna cook a frozen chicken in the instant pot and make a chicken, like a barbecue chicken sourdough pizza tonight. And then, and that will be our supper because it is a Friday night while I'm filming this and Friday night's always pizza night. So that's a go-to for me. But I'm glad you're here and looking forward to bringing you along with what the day brings. All right, so the girls are watching a short 15 minute Berenstein Bears. I really like that show. It just seems kind of um, nostalgic because I watched it sometimes growing up. Um, so I'm gonna wipe down the hallway and that is part of like my Friday cleaning along with the main living area. So I did put out a cleaning video of my daily and weekly cleaning schedule. So you can check that out in the description box if you're interested. But I'm just gonna do a very quick clean of my hallway. It's a super small hallway. If you didn't know, we live in a thousand square foot home. So everything is really compact and small. We're a family of four with another one on the way. But I'm going to take a quick like five minute clean of the hallway because I actually already did oh, a little bit earlier this week because it was just, there were a few things that were a little grimy that were bugging me. So I'm going to do that real quick.
red light is stop, honey. Remember, because at a stoplight, if it's red, we don't want to go. I just got off the phone with my midwife. I had a 20 week ultrasound. When you're seeing this, I'm actually 21 weeks along. But, or when you're seeing this, I'm 23 weeks along. I'm currently 21 weeks. So I was able to just do a phone chat because everything from the ultrasound looked good. We're not finding out the gender. So I got to have a good 45 minute conversation with my midwife. It's so nice that they're so personable, care about you as a person. The girls are playing with Play-Doh right now. Right here, right here. It's a little chilly to be outside, but maybe this afternoon. So I think we're gonna make some banana bread muffins in a little bit too, after we're done playing with Play-Doh and just kind of enjoy the rest of the morning. Do you want to help put one in? Here? Yes. Okay, hold the spoon. And dump it in this one. Good job. Okay, muffins are in the oven and the girls helped me with that. So now I am making lunch. I'm just making some cheese quesadillas. I use, we buy these tortillas from Costco. They're really good. Very simple ingredients. So. I like that they're uncooked, so you have to fry them up in a pan. But then they kind of see more authentic. I'm using some manchetta cheese, some Havarti cheese. They melt really well. They're really delicious white cheese, a spicy one for my husband. He gets to come home for lunch, so that's always fun for the girls. He has his own business about half a mile away, and so he sells on um, Amazon, has an e-commerce business. So he comes home every day for lunch, which I really appreciate and enjoy seeing him throughout the middle of the day. But we're gonna make that. Girls are playing tag and having fun right now. Anyways, I'm gonna keep going on lunch. The muffins turned out beautifully. They're light and airy. I don't measure a lot, if you notice, when I was making them, but they're really good. I had to have a little half sample, so delicious muffins. Well, we were outside for a little bit. Was it chilly? Yeah, it was a little cold out. So we were outside for like 25 minutes or so. Definitely in the single digits still. So just a tad bit chilly. The snow was a little deeper than I expected to, but it was good to get some fresh air and outside, get a little workout in, pull on the sled. But the girls are eating some of the banana muffins we made. And then I also got some seeds in the mail that I ordered a while back. I can show you those. I'm gonna be doing some of my seeds starting in February here. So I wanna just be making sure I have my seeds, I have my inventory of what I need. So I'll show you here what I got. Okay, so first thing are these broccoli seeds I ordered. I like starting broccoli and they sent this marigold mix, which was nice, but I don't really plant marigolds a lot and they're like a weed in my garden. So I'll maybe gift those to someone. And then I got this pack of Organic vegetable seeds. I got both these on Amazon, to be honest. I just tried them to see what they'd be like. And so there's just some little packs of the seeds we have. So, sorry. I can't do squash because squash have squash bugs for me. But, like, radishes, I'll do those. Different types of lettuces. It also came with little steaks for the seed starters, which is really nice. Some cucumbers some snow peas, so those are little packs, but I'll be getting more seeds too when I have some left from last year as well. All right, I got my candle lit. I am gonna pull apart 
start some of this chicken that I put in the Instant Pot and get going on some supper. I grated some manchetta cheese, some of the rest of it, because uh, we didn't use it all at lunch. And I had bought a bunch for a uh, charcuterie board I had made. But I like kind of setting um, a relaxing tone, even if there's kids playing in the background, screaming in the background, and having fun. Um, it's just nice to have that little bit of ambiance of a nice candle lit. So I'm gonna keep working on that and get going from there. I already have my pizza stone in the oven preheating at 425. So I use Farmhouse on Boone pizza crust recipe. It's just sourdough starter. That's all it is. Super simple. red raspberry leaf tea and read another chapter in this book here so this is my third pregnancy and so I'll just be skimming it because I've read it a couple times already but this mama natural book is very informative on what's happening with the baby and the mom each week it has some like fun organic recipes in there just some good ideas for a pregnancy after childbirth stuff like that so if you're pregnant and need a book I highly recommend this one. My husband is also out tonight as he is helping a farmer. So I got the girls down on my own tonight. And so I'm just going to enjoy a little me time here. I'm a little tired, so I'll probably take a shower and get ready for bed, honestly. So it was a very full day, and I'm so glad you got to come along with me today and hope you enjoyed just this day in the life, a real day in the life of a mom who stays home with my two littles. So anyways, I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day, friends, and I will talk with you in my next one. Mm -hmm.